Good morning everybody or good evening whatever you did watch this video this is Cyrix Leon today I will share with you my Trinity Prime build I would say I have two builds both can be used for the level cap first one for the survival and the second for the destruction so let's go yalla bin so let's think together about what you need to know about Trinity well her first well of life it stun an enemy and creates like an invisible circle according to your range when you shoot that enemy you will get heal if you are playing a normal level if you are playing on the normal levels it will be good for you but in, in my situation i will change it with roar because roar increase the damage of warframe abilities and this will maximize the damage so well I need to try it at first to see if it works or not. Well, I see it's working, that's cool. Her second. This is the best ability cause when you are using Vampire Leech, her augment, it will recharge your shields plus your energy to the max in a second. Plus it deals true damage. Hmm, true damage. Well, we will back to this point again in a recap part. So her sword, Link well it's not that bad because any damage taken while link is active will be channeled to nearby enemy her last blessing it restores all your hearts and shells in a second while it gives you 75 percent damage reduction so let's go to the build first i did use four tau crystals two for strengths and one normal for strengths so that's three for the strengths and two for casting speed i did say in the first of the video why i did this roar with her so growing bow transit fortitude blind rage ogre ombra intensify molt augment all these moods for max strength it can reach above 100 true damage in her second which is killed anything in any level so this is why I built her for the strength in the first. And Arcane Aegis, Rolling Guard, Vampire Leech, Ogre Accord, Premature Photo, this for best survivability experiment. And I will explain how I do that in a recap part. Flitting expertise to balance the efficiency. Don't worry if you didn't have any of these moods, you can just use this build. It still works. And this is my survival build it's almost the same as a disruption build but with market for this which is make explosion damage that can one shot a lot of enemies when one click. and i will mention how you can use it in very careful so you can use any weapons any primary any secondary any melee because trinity will deal all the damage better to get any weapons that it have a cold stats because this will slow the enemies a bit anyway i did choose sidu compressor because it deal 10 virus tech in a second doyle kamas because trinity weapons so i did like to use it so let's get to the best part here the recap block. first let's explain the destruction build how you can deal all that damage with the destruction build so first use your primary any weapons that it can deal 10 x viral damage to the then use your roar to buff your second ability then use your second now let's explain how it does work well energy farm burn it deal a true damage per second according to your strengths and your duration so what does that mean it does mean while you have a much duration it take a long time to kill the enemy so it's better to make your duration low so let's head to the survival build. It's pretty the same like a disruption build. First use primer to give the enemies 10x viral damage. Then you can choose any enemy that there is a lot of enemies beside him. How and why? Because the market of this ability does have an explosion radius. So you need to choose any enemy that is a lot of enemies beside him to click one click which is Fun by leech to kill them. So how to stay alive with this setup? First, use your four or your second every time you did get a hit 
that it remove your shields or use rolling guard when your energy is down if you did see some mark of the arcane ages start working you can go afk for 12 seconds because you will not die anyway unless you did get a toxin shot if your arcane didn't work or your energy is down and your rolling guard in a cooldown so you can simply just use the battle so well that's it for me before i did end the video i would thank my homies Midas King and Kabus for helping me to reach the level cap i mean i didn't stand alone in the end but they always helped me thanks guys next video will be vault so stay tuned